Mm. Airship ticket here. Greetings, sir. This is the counter for passengers traveling to Gridania. Wait, aren't you that famous adventurer? It's Azumgi Dreng Barazi, isn't it? I thought I recognized you. You are an inspiration to us all, sir. High Wind Skyways is at your disposal. Will you be traveling with us today? Yes. Yes, please. No. <laughs> no, with you. Oh. <laughs> Is he other do tomorrow there? <laughs> <laughs> Bought the airship! Woo! Are we really boarding or just going to skip it? No, we're really boarding. No, Attention we, all passengers! Huh? Really, really boarding it? Like, uh, World of Warcraft style or are we just... Uh, no, it's just a cutscene. The airship bound for Grudania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. It's good I that only easy. I'm going on the airship and traveling away and nobody else is able to go there. It's yep. like waste of time. Because we are the um, personal envoy of the Admiral. Because she explained in... Yeah, I know what we are. Scene. It's just like like it's just a waste of resources. <laughs> it's I'm complaining about uh, the the uh, logistics, no, not no, about no. that we, we are, are able that to do it. important. <laughs> we are that important. See, also Baderon and Ishtola are watching, and Ra Reina, and Githmoga or whatever her name was. It's like taking a private shot. <laughs> yeah, basically. We are Taylor Swift right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just want to, to make that down. joke, but. <laughs> You Good for Julia Razumgi. The day will come when their name means the same as Eero to the folks of this realm. May you walk in the light of the crystal. <laughs> oh, Wait, luckily something is wrong you will with my never cloak. see him again. I don't know. What's You're wrong? 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My cloak was like had like a, a pinch. It was a lot of beans. Oh, oh. What? How did I know that? Oh, I didn't. Hey, this is Star Wars. What happened? No, it's not. Oh wait, does the game have no sound for me? Is it sound gone? Oh, I messed up. No, I did not. Yito, can you check if I have sound in game, please? Yes, yeah, sure. It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. It's a little bit hard because of my own sound. Because I have no peaks. Silver till is lay right for the taste. Right after we have no game. Would but I get the Shit. Click outside. Do you it's have it? No, you don't have sound. Damn, why don't I have sound? Something's wrong. Did you the whole time not have sound? Apparently. Did someone in chat set that? No. I just saw that I have no peaks. So I have peaks. Now I have peaks. I don't know what happened. Damn! This stream was messed up from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. For some reason. What did you do? Damn it. Uh, I just said there is a new source. I don't know why the source was messed up. Hmm. My, so uh, my, my um, sound setting was also messed up when I opened the... No. Um, somehow it lost my, my headset. Oh reason. damn! I, it's not, it's not really big of a deal. It's just weird that I didn't have sound when I started YouTube. No. Oops. For all the destruction it wrought, even meteor. The Is this dude bad or good? Yep, he's bad. He's the main enemy. Guess it with the red and the black the mm. color scheme. Into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning. Rotten nigh to the I core. mean, he thinks he's good. In his Yet, eyes. It must be saved. It must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. 
It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses ah, we have, we from have their ignorance. We, we are of one mind, mind Lord Van Balthar. Is this a dragon? You will see. I don't know if you know where I am right now. I know where you are. Okay. Another loud motorcycle. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost their hands after Cartina. It's a salute. Yeah, but possibly hope to gain by yeah, but acting alone. It's not our salute, lads. <laughs> it's I their salute. You harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Hmm. Hi. Uh, my, my lord. Please call me Nero. Tell me, <laughs> where were you born? Ochard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change uh -oh. your fate. Mm -hmm. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. That's blood. Oh, it's Final Fantasy. Sorry. <laughs> Clean up this mess and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Damn. Codename Hummingway. Hmm. New Gridania. I love this place. Where's the stone? I want to touch the stone. No. <laughs> it's the most important oh. thing. I'm still loading, so take no. some time. So there you go. There you are. So So arrivals attendant. Ah, you must be the envoy from Limsalominsa. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The elder seats here await your arrival. Yep. We already saw her in the cutscene with the Admiral. The one with the horns. Greetings, good sir. You are the Lominsan envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Novika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand where the elder seats here awaits. So you That's are the Lominsen envoy, begging your pardon, sir, but I must. Uh, but might I inspect the missive you bear? Verily, this is the seal of the admiral of Limsa Lominsa. Please come with me. Of course. What if someone stole it? Yeah. I love this. Hi. So you are the Lamincin envoy. Yes. And an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. A 
allow me to introduce myself. I am Carne Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. A remembrance service for the fallen of Cartano. To think that five years have already come and gone. It seems like only yesterday that the Gallian Empire attempted to seize all that we hold dear. Rising in resistance, the city-states of Eorzea formed the grand companies and joined hands in alliance. But unbeknown to us, the Gallians thought not to, be, uh, not to best us in battle, but moved instead to enact a terrible plot the Meteor Project, by which the lesser moon Dalamut would be torn down from the heavens to annihilate all life below. In a desperate bid to save the realm from certain destruction, our forces marched for the Cartano, uh, Cartano Flats and there met the 7th Imperial Legion. More bloody a battle I've, ever seen, uh, I've never seen, would never wish to see again. Yet the carnage was but a prelude to the atrocity which followed. For despite our best efforts, Dalamut continued its descent, and from it emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who proceeded to rain fire upon Eorzea. The Seventh Imperial Legion was consumed in the blinking of an eye, while our own forces fared little better. That any among us were spared defies explanation, all seemed sure to perish. As the flames converged upon us, I prepared myself for death, only for a brilliant light to envelop me, relieving me of my senses. When at last I awoke, Bahamut was gone, and the land, which had but moments before been aflame, now seemed to me place unknown, not simply ruined, but changed. Archon Louis may, well uh, may well have been able to shed light upon these mysteries but he, like so many, never returned from Cartano. And so we were left with countless questions and no prospect of answer. Yet such matters did not long occupy our thoughts, for we had far graver concerns. The calamity, as the devastation wrought by Bahamut has come to be known, laid our nation's night to, uh, night to waste, and to this day we struggle to rebuild our lives and homes. To compound matters, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, while the Empire encroaches upon our borders, consolidating its foothold in Eorzea. The lookout, in short, is bleak. In the wake of the calamity, it has been all each nation could do to nurse its own wounds. Yet if we are to weather the, uh, the coming storm, we must needs stand united once more. A remembrance service may well uh, present an opportunity to rekindle the spirit of unity, which first give, uh, gave a rise to the Alliance. I wholeheartedly approve of the Admiral's proposal. The necessary provisions shall be made for the service here in Gridania. Was there a table that she could write there? I saw the Oh, okay. Thing. Oh, this is really a table. Okay. <laughs> Funny. It didn't look like one. Yeah. Again with the invisible objects. Mm. You have done the people of Eorzea a fine service this day, and I would not put your for, uh, put you to further trouble. I shall see that my reply reaches the Admiral anon. You, meanwhile, are bound next for Uldar, are you not? Please send the Flame General my regards. Ah, and if you would be so kind, I should appreciate if you would inform him that a pet of mine has been ill-behaved of late. My wolf, to be precise. Needless to say, he must be brought to heel, and I would very much welcome the General's counsel on how this might be achieved. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safe to Uldar and beyond. I need one second. Yep. So, 
Greetings, sir. This is the counter for passengers traveling to Uldar. Oh, are you not Azomgi Drangbarazi, the Lominsen envoy? On behalf of all at Highwind Skyways, may I say what an honor it is to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? If I have to. You're well beneath my station. <laughs> Out here. I saw myself behind behind you. I don't know what, what's wrong. Not even staying here. No. Another cutscene. Oh, we just want to get to uh, get to be the healer, right? So that we can go dungeons. Yep. Is dungeon also four no. people or is dungeon five people? Dungeon is four people. The problem is we have to do a couple of dungeons until we get our jobs because um, we unlock the jobs at a certain point in the main story quest. We leveled mm. that fast that we are way beyond. <laughs> we are in the story. Uh, okay. We are level 31 and the story quest is 14, I believe. 15. <laughs> okay. Oh. Double the level. Yeah. More than double. Uh, you must be the envoy from Limsa Lominsa. Welcome to Uldar, sir. The flame general awaits your arrival. I mean, you thought that uh, level 30 is the one when we get the next stop. No. Welcome to Uldar, sir. We have been expecting you. Flame General Rauban will receive you in the Fragrant Chamber. Please take the lift down to Husting Strips and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. Yeah, but before we do that, we're gonna uh, touch every stone. But you will love the Empress of Uldar. She's amazing. Here's Bartholomew, the Lominsen envoy, I presume. Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, sir? My thanks. Ah, yes, the Admiral's seal. Please proceed. It's Elric. Sorry. Ah, okay. Nice. Rauban, I love you. Guest from Limsa. I thought I smelled stale ale. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Merlin says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Sahagin. Welcome to the Sultanate of Uldar. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. I just want your money. All of it. No. Cartano, I. I remember the bloody Cartano. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer? When we took the field against the Guardians? Yeah, I saw it in my mind's eye when I had a migraine. <laughs> so my counterparts have educated you? No. Mm, not really. Hmm, Kane is pets giving her trouble, is it? Well, she should already know my mind on that subject. Wolves are beyond taming. Tis but a matter of time before they bear their teeth. So it was the Galleons 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitech than they began seizing territory from their neighbors. Let, let by then Legatus, Solus, Zos, Galvos, they swiftly brought the other nations of Isabad, uh, Ilzabad to heal, and so Legatus became an emperor, and his republic an empire. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of four scores winters. His health is failing and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Galleons have been quite of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders. And the commander, Legatus Gaius von Belza, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many before us. And not only Ulda, but Gridania and Limsa Lominsa as well. For the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. 
The Guardian stir and the Elder Seed Seer would not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the Beast Tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear. And if we're to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Merle Whip will have her memorial. We will honor the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Again, an invisible letter? Nice. Yep. Here, take this imaginary paper. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I would speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Admiral will have my reply anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. I love Rauban. Not sure about it yet. So, Bartholomew... Ah, my Lord Envoy, I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Limsa Lominsa in the near future? If so, I have information that may be of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official, matter, uh, official visit to the seaside city-state, during which time I became acquaintance with Baderon, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Well, the man sent word just now that he has a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none better credentials than you. Badron would doubtless be pleased where you offer him your service. Okay. I'm just gonna return. Uh, welcome to the Drowning Wench. Sit where you like, mate. I'll be with you in a... Well, well, if it ain't the one and only Azungi Drengbarazi. I was told a distinguished venturer might be reporting for duty. Fancy that venturer being you, eh? Just so you're fairly warned, though this ain't no job for your faint or art. Things liable to get downright bleeding, Eri. But if you think you're still interested, let me know and I'll fill you on the details. Yeah, of course. So, I have darker clothes now. Nice. That looks better. Look, I thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the point. Word as it's some suspicious looking buggers have been sneaking in and out of Sastasha Seagrot, and I need a trustworthy sort of head up north of Ilport and find who they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like, like don't sound like much, I know. But since that nasty business over in Swift Perch, folk have been a bit uneasy. Well I say a bit, tis all they can do not to soil them themselves every time the bloody floorboards creak. If you would permit me, Master Baderon, I should be happy. Oh, I should be happy to elaborate. That's someone else. It's another guy. <laughs> it's Rainer. Well, well, if it ain't the chief yellow jacket himself, it, he's not wearing yellow. Uh, to what do I owe this rare honor, Commodore Rainer? Come to make sure my patrons are behaving or just thirsty? Neither, in fact. I came to welcome Azumgi back to Limsa Lominsa. How did you know? Well, have returned. Uh, probably because we're the only ones teleporting around. <laughs> Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel of the coast of Aleport in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region, the Sastasha Seagrot included. Their search revealed little save that a family of curls had taken up residence in the caves, nothing to concern us in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sastasha again. But with the Sahagin testing our defenses daily, I am loath to assign the task to the limited forces at my disposal. Our line is stretched as it is. Thus I thought, uh, I sought the services of the competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sastasha is located in Western Lanoskea. For more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, I suggest you consult Vimelpa. She can be found at the ferry docks on the lower decks. You heard the man. Good luck to your lad. Yep, Sastasha is the first dungeon. And my nice. nose yes. is itchy. Ah. 
So, Vmelpa, you hear about the Commodore Rainer's investigation. Then you'll want to board your ferry for Aleport. Once you arrive in Western Lanoskea, though, you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of Novices before you blunder into Sastasha. Ah, now we do it with the smith. The Adventurer's Guild runs the hall and the folk there will prepare you, train you with the skills you need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the sea grot. The hall is on the way to Sastasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside and one of the seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Yeah. Uh, where's Aleport? There is Aleport. Uh, oh yeah, you teleport, right? Yeah. I like that this is now something we have to do, because many people go into dungeons and don't know the mechanics. Mm. I mean, I would have told you what to do, but now that it's already in the game, it makes it a little bit easier. It takes a little bit longer to load you, just running off about me. Oh, sorry. But it's not that far, just here. Just complaining about it. Sorry. Just like always. No. Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I hear you are the brave. Uh, you are to brave the depths of Sastasha Seagrot. The occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the hide of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. And you shall need the training we here at the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest that you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedule, speak with him and you can register for exercises tailored to your particular field of expertise. Hi. When you have mastered all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more, report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of the Sastasha Sea Grot, and it will furnish you with the details of your duty. Hi. Well, well, the mantle of adventurer does not drape so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did, but while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns and all manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm and these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus did we construct the Hall of the Novice where we endeavor uh, to prepare you for those differences. Here, within these walls, we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Cool. Uh, oh. I, uh, did, I don't have that text, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. So, now talk to the smith. Can I just begin? Yep. Oh, uh, do I have to do this uh, like like a dungeon alone, basically? Yep, it's a small instance that will teach you. Okay. Oh, bro. this is it—the final exercise. Epic music. I was just waiting for nothing. Yeah, I also noticed that you have to just talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, uh, it's okay. Like I was already running forward. No. T let me know when you're ready to begin. Okay, damn. Let's walk back. <laughs> Shit. I mean, it's nothing that I didn't do before. Yeah. The whole time. It's still kind of more than, than expected. Okay. So, please tell me you're here on Yellow Jacket duty and not some daft sought out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. You are? Thank the gods. I assume you already know about the ship seen slipping around the Isles of Umbra. We've been... Oh crap, I accidentally... Wait. I... 
I have it currently open still. <laughs> uh, can you read, please? <laughs> We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since the vessel was sighted, thinking a crew of cutthroats might have a den nearby. Oh, ah, thanks. Uh, so when we received word that men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Sastasha here, we, were, uh, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself, but if this lot belongs to those fishback fancying serpent reavers, well, you can imagine the panic it'll cause. The kidnappings are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around in the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll be keeping watch out here, praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Yay! Oh! Yeah. Nice. Fair enough. Ah, and the really. skipping cutscene is also, it will skip. Oh, yeah, I already told you that it will skip every cutscene yes. of the dungeons. The first one we should watch, right? Yep. Oh, look, pirates. Sastasha. Just attack? Or just walk? No, just walk. So, he's looking at the memo. We will need that in a moment. Do you also need to look at the memo? No, no, just, just one person. There is a lever later that we have to pull and now our healer knows which one. Finally tanking again. Oh wait, we are two arcanists and a scholar, by the way. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh no, it's an astrologian. Ah, okay. Sorry. So with this one, uh, you have to attack the clam. But it's only vulnerable when it's open. So quick. Yeah, otherwise it will just spawn seekers. Oh, there was one, sorry. Didn't see it. Oh, good. The healer had got the most of it. enemy there this
inconspicuous switch. Okay, even now we're still, uh, because the item level that we have doesn't scale as hard as our level. So just look at the damage we're dealing the first boss. <laughs> That's mm. it. That was the first boss. <laughs> do we have to do anything with the treasure cup? Uh, with the what? The treasure thingy. Oh, uh, just loot it. Uh, it's at Creed? Yeah, if you can... Uh, press need then it's for your class then you will basically automatically get it if greed then you can sell it okay, just it's, it's fine if i do greed yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's in world of warcraft they, they had the same system right um the people with need get it gets it earlier uh, gets yeah it, after um... final fantasy and aeon yeah, yeah. i believe it was introduced it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, someone else. I don't know when World of Warcraft finally did it. Oh, really annoying. Mm. Forever. I need it for my drink. It's not tradable. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> mm. The first time we were in here, um, my ex was a white mage, and so mm -hmm. a, a white mage item dropped. She pressed need and one of our damage dealers was like, why did you press need? So, um, because I'm the healer. So, yeah, but I need it for my other class. Then play your other class. <laughs> mm. Then come in as a healer. But this does loot whatever you want to see, so... What? The treasure box. Does that loot whatever you want to yeah, so... It's you, you, you roll for it, basically. Yeah. Um... You just throw it's... dice. Yes. Oh. And if you, uh, like, if you need it, then you get it... Uh, like... It's a different roll, basically. Wait, what did you say? If we both need it, uh, then it works between us, but if we all need it, then um, it works between all of us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think people with, with the direct need have priority always, so I yeah, don't know yeah. what the saying. Oh nice, he's already opening the door. It's very good. I like our healer. Mm. Knows what to do. Also, our healer is level 41 at least. How do you know that? Uh, I examined the equipment. Why is he still doing this if he's 41? Uh, because it gives um, you extra experience points when you do it with people who do it the first time. Oh! Yep, okay. so you can level so even faster. He, so he's benefiting from us too? Yep. I love this system. Oh, from you too, right? You're doing it for the first time? Uh, yeah, but not with this character. Oh, it's only called for account, not for character? Yep. Be nice for character, but fair enough. Yeah, it's fine. I have them.
so I have no defensive cooldown now. So I'm not going to pull more. So, with the boss, we can basically just steamroll the boss as well. Um, so we don't need to pay attention to the mechanics, because, yeah. Also not gonna use my defensive cooldown right now. Oh, um, I forgot something earlier. For the next dungeon, there is a mechanic that I have to teach you. Yeah, but we're only doing one dungeon, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's why I'm time. telling you next time. You sully our spawning grounds, Shaw Walker. Sorry. <laughs> <One game>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you can step on the plates um, where the water comes out if you want. Then there won't be more enemies, but the boss is almost already dead, so... Um, do you have the button limit in your hotbar? It's two swords crossing. Mm. No. Oh, sad. Ah, I don't have it either. Ah, get damn it. <laughs> Level up. Ooh. Whee. And that's it. Yay. That face was so weird that everybody of us no. made. <laughs> like, what is happening? Okay. Let's go. So, loot. Disciple of magic. Oh, it's for you. Oh, neat. Oh, also the book is also for one oh, of Oh, I you. have to do it for every item? Oh. <laughs> yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> but only one of you can get it. But you already have better books, so... Do neat by both. Yep. So that the other guy cannot get it. Oh, I think I got the Grimo. I got the book. Nice. 